Welcome to a short tutorial on using Twine, a deceivingly simple tool for creating interactive stories. Using this tool, I'm going to walk you through creating a simple story involving a pirate, because pirates are cool. Now, as you see on the screen, in the upper left-hand corner of the map area is a single passage called Start. As it's labeled, the story will display this passage first. So, let's edit it by double-clicking it. As you see, it popped up a separate window with areas for the title, the tags, which I will go into in another video, and the text area for the actual, well, text. Let's edit that now. Now, because this is a pirate story, I want the pirate stuff to be right up first. You see a pirate. Now, whatever you type within this text area will be displayed exactly as you type it. However, if you enclose it using special tokens, it will be displayed differently. Now, a token is a letter, a character, or a symbol. In this case, if I type two left-hand brackets, you see that it changed the color to red. It did this because it anticipates I'm going to be creating a link. But right now, I haven't finished typing it, so it's a broken link. So let's finish typing it. As you can see, I've enclosed oh no's two brackets on either side of it. Now, Twine sees this, understand that it is a link. As you can see in the background though, there's a mark or a warning saying that something's odd. If we go to passage, we can see it's a broken link because the passage oh no's doesn't exist yet. Therefore, start cannot link to it. I've highlighted passage, gone to broken links. Let's go to oh no's. And it created the passage for us. Oh no's! Oh no's, a pirate. Now, when I save it by closing it, the text was updated in the background. And you can see in the map area, I can move around the connected passages. Going back to start, you see they changed the color to blue. It did this because Twine now sees this as an outgoing link from start to oh no's. As I can verify by going to passage and seeing there's a single outgoing link to oh no's. Now, I'm going to create a second link. We had oh no's, so let's have oh yes. Just as before, Twine has highlighted that this is a broken link. Going to Passage, Broken Links, oh yes. And we see this. And I'm going to fill this in. Oh yes, a pirate. Awesome. And if you watched, it updated in real time on both the text area I was typing in and the background passage within the map area. I'm going to close these, click on the map area, and you'll notice everything has been updated. One of the amazing features about Twine, at least in my opinion, is that this map area allows you to see the connections between the passages. So conceivably, if you had lots of links and lots of choices, you could see them all very easily within the map area. However, I want other people to see this pirate story now. So let's do that. Going to File, Save Story as Pirate. Yes, I'm going to replace it. Now it's saved. Now I'm going to Story, Build Story. And I get to type what I want the HTML page to be. I'm going to type pirate because I want it to be about pirates. Click save. It's about to open it as you can just see in the default browser of your operating system and in this case it's Firefox because I've set it that way and you can see an output an HTML file pirate with 
the very first start passage, you see a pirate with the links oh no's and oh yes. When I click on oh no's, it goes to the passage oh no's. Oh no's, a pirate. I can also rewind or restart. And I've just restarted it. You see a pirate, oh no's, oh yes. We just clicked on oh no's, I'm going to oh yes. Oh yes, a pirate, awesome. What I can also do, going back to Twine, is change something. So let's do that. Now I've just added and a dancer to the start passage. I'm going to close it. And as you can see, Twine is highlighted up here in the upper left hand corner that is not saved. So file, save, story. Now we have the options to build story or rebuild story. However, this time I'm going to go all the way down to story format. Instead of sugarcane, I'm going to Jonah. Going back to story, going to build. Now it allows me to again select what I want. I want to select pirate because I'm about to overwrite that file. Yes, I would like to replace, replace. it. And here it is the story rebuilt using the Jonah format. Start, you see a pirate and a dancer. Click on oh no's, it loads underneath, or oh yes, and it loads that underneath. Well, as a start, this is pretty good. In the next video, I'm going to go into some of the advanced features of Twine. I'll show you how to do conditionals and use variables. Thanks for watching.